everybody. Welcome to the Upkeep for Monday, April 4th, 2022. That's right. It's all the magic news you need in 10 minutes or less. And the first big news item this week comes to us from last Thursday, which is a huge organized play announcement for magic. People have been looking forward to this one for a long time. Oh, and yes. it is finally here. So what is happening in this big organized play announcement? All right. So the big headline is that the Pro Tour is back, baby. And it is called the Pro Tour. Yes, exactly. No more dollars in the swear jar for us calling it the Pro Tour when it's not. But yeah, it's back again. A rose by any other name does not smell as sweet. So we have here proven we are. that. We've proven that con concisively, conducively. What's the word? Conclusively. <laughs> it's also going to be played in paper. Yeah, this is, of course, a big thing that a lot of people, I think, were probably surprised by yeah some people thought that covid had ushered in the era of digital only magic forever pro play. and ever yeah but no we are heading back to paper baby we know yep. that there will be a simplified qualification system starting with the regional championship qualifiers these will be run by wpn stores in your area they can be modern pioneer standard or limited the stores basically just get to decide when to hold them and how to run them them, and those will kick off starting July 2nd. Wow, so we are getting underway quick here. Yeah, we sure are. Holy cow. Okay, so then if you do well enough at your regional championship qualifier, you get qualified for what? The regional championship. Wow, are you telling me that a regional championship <laughs> qualifier qualifies me for a regional championship? It's just basic algebra, you know? <laughs> basic algebra. So these are going to be run by specially selected partners at Wizards of the Coast, vetted and selected. Selected, they're going to be held in 11 different regions around the world. For, in, for instance, here in the U.S., DreamHack is going to be running these regional championships. In Canada, it's going to be face-to-face -face games. Yes, so. Wizards of the Coast says that they want these to feel like major events. Yeah, like big, very special. The players who make it here are awesome at Magic. Yes, uh, you get a promo card for participating in these and different numbers of people at these regional championships will then qualify for the Pro Tour and some of them even for Worlds. That's, that is wild. World Championship, you yes. can get there playing at the regional championships. Wow, pretty yeah. wild. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, the invites are based on population or something. Yeah. <laughs> they said something like population of the area. I don't really know, but they vary based on region. If you want to know how many invites your region awards, you can check it out with the, per the, the company that's running the tournaments in your area. And they'll let you know. For instance, DreamHack is offering 48 Pro Tour invites at their regional championships coming up in this fall and two slots at the World Championship. The first one is going to be in Atlanta this yes. fall and it's Pioneer. Wow, Pioneer, welcome back. Wow, yeah. It's been a while since we've uh, thought about Pioneer, truly. Um, and then, of course, that's all feeding into the Pro Tour, Yay. baby. So there's going to be three Pro Tours a year. These are going to be fed, obviously, from the regional championships that we just talked about. They're going to be a $500,000 prize pool, which is pretty sweet. And these are run by Wizards of the Coast. Yes, the locations are TBA, but the first one is slated for early 2023. Wow, so kicking off next year. Wow, um, it's a split format, uh, draft and pioneer yes. for the first one. Yes. Yes. Draft is back at the Pro Tour. Very Thank exciting. goodness. <laughs> uh, and you can chain invites as you could in the last Pro Tour system. 10 wins gets you back. Or there's also a new system using AMPs, which is... Adjusted match points, adjusted I want to say. Adjusted match points, yeah. yes. Which awards points based on wins at the PT level. And then you can add those up across multiple multiple events to earn yourself an invite. You do have to make, make those AMPs at the Pro Tour not yep. at the regional championships, uh, so it's a little bit tougher to get them, but when you do, you can add them together if you don't happen to get 10 wins at a pro tour. And as we mentioned, that all leads into the world championship. Yes, the little cap on the top of our pyramid here is of course the world championship in tabletop, yes. played in tabletop with a million dollar prize pool for 2023. And 
it is going to be much bigger. Huge. 128 players. Wow. And the first one will be held later in 2023 in the U.S. I'm very excited for this. Um, now that you know basically how the qualification system is going to work, you might be asking, what about digital play? Like we've been playing. Yeah, we have all been the playing <laughs> all digital all the time. All the time. All the our big championships are on Arena, right? Yeah. So are they just going to throw the baby out with the bathwater? Uh, we don't actually know. I don't <laughs> think so. But they say they're going to let us know more information about what the future for digital play holds at the end of April. So we're going to update then. Yeah. What we do know for sure is that there will be events on both platforms. So that means Arena and Magic Online that will feed tabletop events at nearly every level, including the World Championship. Qualifier weekends will still exist with, quote, exciting twists. Oh. <laughs> Not sure what that means. <laughs> <laughs> Could the be exciting anything. twist is you have to play with your hands tied behind <laughs> your back. Yes, yeah, so you have to press enter with your tongue. <laughs> Very gross. Um, Arena will also have new ways to qualify for qualifier weekends other than ladder play. That is exciting to yeah, me. Yeah, very exciting. Don't always have time to grind the ladder, you know what I mean? Uh, for more details, including stuff on the Hall of Fame, you can go to magic.gg, look at the little pyramid, and yep. get all the deets. It's a pyramid scheme that I actually like. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, just an update on what, you know, we talk about digital play in esports and how Magic was going hard in the paint with esports for a long time. The Magic Esports Twitter has been discontinued. It was shut down. Woo. Goodbye. So they're like closing the door. They're, yeah. I mean, they're slamming the door. <laughs> they're like, this Twitter account doesn't even exist anymore. They say now follow at PlayMTG for all of organized play information. The mm -hmm. esports initiative for Wizards of the Coast lasted 1,210 days, starting from the World Will Know video. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, man. I think co Great. college kids in business courses will study that initiative. I really hope so. Honestly. That's pretty it seems wild like to a, think about. Like a good learning opportunity. Yes, it really does. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on, Streets of New Capenna previews officially kick off this Thursday. Yeah, you can check them out at 9 a.m. Pacific on twitch.tv slash magic if you want to see the official kickoff. That's Wizards video that they use to promote the start of a new set. They're always very well done. A list of where and when you can find preview cards from your favorite content creators is available on dailymtg.com. And if we're your favorite content creators, first of all, <gasps> great, taste, great taste. Great yes. uh, taste. Well done. All, our preview card is going to be on the 13th. Yeah, that's very exciting. Yes. A few cards have already been previewed, most notably the charm cycle for the five families. Yeah. For example, we've got here Riveteer's charm. Black, red, green for an instant. Choose one. Target opponent sacrifices a creature or planeswalker they control with the highest mana value among creatures and planeswalkers they control. Nice. Exile the top three cards of your library until your next end step. You may play those cards. Oh. Or exile target player's graveyard. Uh, this seems it's very good. Pretty powerful. That's three mana right there. Yeah. Riveteers. I'm going to have to get used to saying that. Riveteers? Yeah, I feel like my- You just want to say John. <laughs> I want to say it weird. I like my- I, Oh, I right, see. There's something- Riveteer. Riveteer. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Rivet, Riveteer. <laughs> well, if you want to say Riveteers more and dive deep into the history of the crime families, find out what they're all about as far as their flavor goes, the backstory behind them, behind the plane itself, the characters we're going to see there in the art, the mm -hmm. Command Zone produce a very nice video that's like almost- I want to say it's an hour long or more wow. um, about all of this stuff with people who design the set. And it's really cool. So you can check it out on their channel if you're somebody who likes to know more about that. Next up, a reminder just that the arena open is this weekend. Yeah, this is historic, everybody. Woo. If you want to play in this, you can choose best of one or best of three on day one. Like always, four, seven wins in best of one or four wins undefeated in best of three qualifies you for day two for your shot at $2,500 and a qualifier weekend in invite for May. Yeah. There were also some new secret layers. Yes, we got an April Fool secret layer. This one really messes with my <laughs> head. It's not a joke though, it's not a fool. This is oh, real. They, they are left-handed cards. Very strange. So the mana value is on the left-hand side <laughs> and then the name is on the right. It, like, it's the, uncomfortable. It is very, uh, it is very uncomfortable. Like the, um, the little logo on the type line is on the left in this Garrick color of beasts. Uh, for instance, all of 
all of the like plus and minuses on his abilities are on the right hand side and his loyalty is on the left. I don't know. It's just a very. It just makes me feel like my skin's crawling it's looking at it. It's very <laughs> challenging for my brain to if look at. If somebody played this against you in paper, would you just like kind of. Yeah, I'd, I'd have a moment. You know, it's just yeah. weird. Uh, so you can get uh, Sisse, Weatherlight Captain, Empress Galena, Geralt's Messenger, Roghath, son of Rogh. <laughs> what the hell is that card? Yeah. Rograk. Rograk, son of Rogh. I don't know what that card is. I think that's got to be like a boar. Or yeah. I think it's like a gruel boar. And Garrick, Collar of Beasts in this bundle. Um, I yeah. guess if you're left handed, maybe it's your jam. Uh, there's also the Aries lands, which are next up in the astrology cycle. They're gorgeous. They're it's great. Beautiful. Every single one of them, them is really, really good. This is a mountain that's yeah. bursting forth with Aries horns lava. Yeah. I love it. Very cool. I just love them all. Well, anyway, that's all of the magic news that you need for this week. Thanks for hanging out with us. You can check out our full-length podcast called Good Luck High Five anywhere you get your podcasts. And you can support that show, this show, and everything that we make over on patreon.com slash glhfmagic. Good luck high five.